Anderson wasn't around when filming began on the first six episodes. Huh. Her hair was chopped short, Anderson, because she was uh, playing a role in Off Broadway. South Pacific. This is trivia stuff. I know. Oh, Barry Williams went to a stage experimentation. Was known occasionally to partake. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. It's not. It's not what I thought. I thought he was like doing Broadway. Because let me read this again. Barry Williams went to a stage. Of experimentation. Why well, confuse stage? Because the comment before was Henderson doing Broadway. So here, the next line says, like many teens in the seventies, Williams, who played the eldest brother Greg, was known to occasionally partake in some illegal substances while hanging out with his friends. After sparking up one afternoon on his day off, Williams received a call from the studio that certain scenes of the Law and Disorder episode need to be reshot. Barry dutifully reported to the set, but it became obvious to all present that something was not quite right with Greg. He was stoned out of his mind. Aside from his stumbling over nothing in the driveway, there was a glazed look in his eyes and a stilted delivery of his few lines regarding Dad's purchase of a boat that tipped the producers off and caused furious rewrites to reduce Greg's part in this episode. I went through a stage of experimentation as a kid, Williams wrote on his blog. Cool. I certainly never went to the set high again, but I don't like weed. Makes me feel dumb, paranoid, and hungry. No shit. (laughs) You forgot pizza and cartoons. Uh, there was some romance. Okay, who wants to know about the romance? Plenty of rumors, right? Growing up, Brady. Barry Williams wrote that he and Maureen McCormick, she was the hot oldest sister, shared their first kiss in a wife filming of a three-episode story arc during the show's fourth season. Their relationship was at its hottest and heaviest around the time they filmed the final episode of that season, A Room at the Top. That scene where Marcia and Greg were sitting on their bed together arguing over who should get the attic room took hours to film. As the director kept having to yell, God, due to the actors getting too cozy on camera, Lloyd Schwartz finally had each actor make a fist and place it between them as they sat on the bed and instructed them to maintain that amount of distance from each other at all times in the scene. Oh, what a cock block. In the Brady, 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 Lloyd Schwartz mentions that he tried to cool things down between Barry and Marine, mainly because on-the-job romances rarely work, especially between teenagers. If they had a traumatic breakup, how would they be able to continue to work together? So, he threw a bucket of cold water on him, told him to knock it off. Part of this strategy, he didn't really do that. 
Part of his strategy was to appeal to Barry's vanity and flatter him, telling him that he was too young and too good looking to limit himself to one girl. So, <laughs> oh my God. So there, he's telling <laughs> Greg Brady, uh, which is uh, Barry, um, tell him, Barry, hey man, dude, you're way too hot. That almost sounds like he likes guys right there. And too young, man. Don't limit yourself to this hoe. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's another good learning moment. I'm really glad that, uh, oh, man, these producers do anything. They are just downright dirty. I, I want to find here the part. Is this, excuse me, here, this is the part where they sing. I am sorry, I have the hiccups. I just got to hear, if this is the one that peats off key, I'll kill it. Because that one is stupid. But, come on, it's going to start. Just hang in there, man. Bear with me. Ooh. <laughs> they cut to the maid who does shit eating a big hammock. Ah. You guys are good. Oh, still, stop going to the maid. Who cares? Oh, these children are so talented. Talking about Pete in the right up here. His pipes were a bit on the rice, the rusty side. It's another way of saying he can't sing for shit. Oh, very good. This is where they discover Pete sucks. Oh, this is where he's. Voice cracks. Uh oh. Puberty. Who's clowning? Or is it a clanker? It was a clunker. He's shitting his pants. Oh, uh, Pete, just honest. Uh, last week. Oh, this is great. They're in studio. Sha na 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 na. Remember this song? Oh, oh Greg is rocking it. He's got an all leather shirt on with the. Uh, what do you call those? Oh, yeah. Take it. That was Cindy. What is she wearing? She has either got the shortest shorts or a mini skirt. You gotta love the 70s. Oh, 
they only got Marcia singing. Time to change. So they make a big joke out of. That's right. Uh. Sha-na-na-na. Okay, here's what six kids shared in one bathroom with no toilet. I never noticed there's no shit. They're crapping out the window. No toilet. Eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed something odd about Jack and Jill bathroom the kids, Brady kids shared. It was missing a toilet. Television network still had strict rules about showing porcelain toilet. Oh, my God. TV. That's a tank. It sucked, but... Carol Brady is supposed to be a divorcee. Well, Mike was painted as a widower. Oh, 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 this is a good one. Here, shut that one off. Huh. Oh, that's good. If you're getting bored with this, uh, too bad. Let's see what this is. This is where she gets popped in the nose. Love this. Remember, I can't remember. Somebody threw a ball right there playing ball in the backyard. And she walks up and whack. Oh. Is it a football? Yeah, I thought it was a baseball. Okay. It's Pete and Bobby. Pete spin. Pitch the ball by Bobby. Pete throws, touchdown. Pete jumped up and down like he. Okay. Uh, me too. Oh. I hate to say goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, she can't even hang up the phone. Uh, come on, Marsha. Remember those. Uh, Brady get-togethers, Marsha never shows. And then they bring in, like, a stand-in Marsha. That was weird. And they asked, why didn't you come? Then there were rumors about Mom and Gray. Ah, uh, I don't even want to think about that. That's right. Go tell the boys. Here it is. This is where they pop her. With the ball. <laughs> I don't think it, she really took. She, oh. <laughs> Whoa. Her nose, that is. <laughs> Doug won't mind. something that was funny I wish you could have seen it let's see here they got like special moments I can't wait this will be good hopefully oh if you could have seen that I mean they I don't know how they shot that without hitting her in the nose because it was like Remember those footballs that weren't made of leather and more plastic? I mean, those things in the winter, it like slap your hands. That's what it sounded like. Kind of like this plastic ball. It just went slap. And it was like, you could see her nose was like, I mean, I mean, the makeup was really crappy later. But the actual hit look real. I'd love to see what she says. Like, he really did hit me, prick. 